This is problem number five from the chapter 11 review packet. And we have the regular triangle. Inscribed inside of that is a circle. Inscribed inside of that is a regular triangle. And inscribed inside of that is this square. Each side of the regular triangle is given to be 16. The segment CK is drawn in there as an altitude. So that if we look at triangle HCK, we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 16 is a hypotenuse. So HK is going to be equal to 8. Also, we could have done the same thing going the other direction um, to get the length of HM also to be equal to 8, and K is equal to 8. We have a regular triangle right here. So the length of MN is equal to 8 as well, as is NK and MK. We're going to insert a temporary variable of X. MO is X, RN is X because of all the symmetry we have. And then in this yellow triangle, triangle MOP, we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. X is the short leg, so the long leg is X root 3. And since this is a square, that means that PQ is equal to X root 3, OR is equal to X root 3, and so is RQ. But now we're going to look at segment MN, and if we add all of these variables together, the X plus the X plus the X root 3, that's equal to 8. Combining like terms, we get this equation. We factor out the x, it's x times the quantity 2 plus 3, or in other words, x is equal to 8 over 2 plus root 3. If we evaluate that, that comes out to about 2.14, and we'll store that in the calculator as x. So that value is going to be important as we go forward. The shaded area is the area of the yellow triangle on the left, the one on the right, as well as the one on the bottom. The one on the left and the right are congruent to each other. So to find the area of triangle MOP, we're going to do 1 half times the base of x times the height, which is x root 3. And then the area of triangle RNQ is the same. Another 1 half x times x root 3. If we add those together, that's just going to be x squared root 3. That's the area of the triangle on the left and the triangle on the right. The triangle on the bottom, it's going to be a regular triangle. This angle is congruent to that angle. We have a 60-60-60 triangle. So the area of that triangle is the length of one side, which is x root 3. So we're supposed to square that times root 3 over 4. Normally the formula is x squared root 3 over 4, but that's because normally each side of the triangle is equal to x. This time each side of the triangle is equal to x root 3. When we evaluate this, this comes out to 3x squared times root 3 over 4. This represents the area of the triangles on the left and the right. This represents the area of the triangle on the bottom. So if we add those together, x squared root 3 plus 3x squared root 3 over 4, we need to get a common denominator. Common denominator is 4, so times 4 times 4. Then we can add those numerators together and get 7x squared root 3 over 4. Plug this into your calculator with the x value that you have stored. And the answer comes out to about 13.93 units squared.